Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So this week I'm going to show you another preview feature and this preview feature allows users to create a Power BI report without having to build one first because the system will actually do that automatically for them. There's just one button that you have to click and then your report is going to be generated. Let me show you what that looks like and also how you can enable this preview. So the first thing that you want to do is obviously turn on that functionality, right? And you can do that by navigating to make.powerapps.com. And then of course you want to make sure that you have the correct environment selected, right? So you can change that over here. So from here, I'm going to navigate to apps and then you're just going to select the app where you want this functionality enabled. So let me just go here to customer service. You're going to hover here over this little arrow next to edit, and we're going to click on edit in preview. And that is going to load this new app designer. I wrote an article about this new app designer uh, a couple of weeks ago. So once this loads, you can click here on settings. And then you're going to go to features and as you can see this is that quick report visualization for power bi so all you have to do here is turn this on and you're going to save this and then once this is saved then obviously you still need to publish this so this is really on a per app basis right that you can enable this so now let's take a look at what that looks like in Dynamics 365. So I'm here in a view of my open opportunity scored. I'm going to change that to all opportunities. And then I'm going to click this new button that I just enabled here. That's called visualize this view. And you can see here, as soon as I do that, what it's going to do is it's going to grab all of those opportunities in that view and push that into Power BI. And it's going to generate several charts and it's gonna show that here in this report in a second. Now, obviously how long it takes to generate the report depends on the amount of data in the view that we're in, right? The more rows that they're on the view, obviously the more data Power BI has to process and therefore it's going to take a little bit longer for the report to be generated. You also see that you have the ability to change the columns, right, that are used in the report. So I can see here we're looking at close probability by opportunity rating, but I could also say instead of close probability, maybe I want to use estimated value. So you see as soon as you change those columns, it's going to rerun that report, I almost want to say, right? So it's going to reevaluate and it's going to show you with a new report. You can also see that you have the ability here to perform, to put some filters in. Now I noticed there's nothing here now, right? But if you click here on show data table, and then you click in either one of those, right? Now you can actually use filters in here, right? So if I say close probability is less than, right? I can start filtering my data from here. The other thing that I can do here, let me drill out of this, is if you kind of hover your, your cursor over here, you can see here, you can export the data, you can show it as a table, you can, put it in spotlight, get insights. You can change the sorting of that as well. And then if you click on here, you actually have the ability to personalize this particular chart. So when you click on that, you can now start to change the visualization type. You can add a field to the legend. 
etc. So let's change this chart here. Let's make this a pie chart. So you can see that, right? You can kind of change this as you're going. And if this is fine, I can just close out of that. And now you can see that I have a pie chart here versus the bar charts that we are seeing earlier. So I just wanted to mention that these are really ad hoc reports, right? That we can use to quickly analyze the data. So keep in mind that this report, it's temporary, right? We're not going to be able to save it. It is actually timing out after, I believe it's about one hour after which you will need to close and then reload the report. So it's not like I can very quickly save this again. This is just for analyze purposes. One other setting I want you to be aware of, I'm actually going to go here to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. I'm going to give it a second here to load. And here we are. I'm going to go open up that environment. And then I'm going to click on settings. And then I'm going to expand this product section here and I'm going to go to features. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can see here this TDS endpoint. So you have to make sure that that's turned on. So as you can see, that enables connecting from Power BI using tabular data stream protocol. So if you turn that off, then this functionality is not going to work. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Have a great week, everybody.